Did you know that Bangkok's real name is the longest name of a place in the world? Which is Krungthapadabrushung. I can't. Hey everyone, I'm Christina. I'm Daniel. And we're back. Welcome back, fam. So today we're trying out international, international snacks, snacks again. again. <laughs> so last time we did this, we tried Irish snacks. And today, again, it's a surprise, so we don't know what we're trying. What country do you think it's from today? I think we're going to get Japanese snacks. I've been craving for that. Is it going to come with sushi, and yep. ramen? Sushi, ramen, and uh, <laughs> salmon nigiri. <laughs> and here's the box right here. So pretty much the same size as last time. So are you keen to smash this down with me today? Yes, I'm hungry. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. Three, two, one. Ta-da! Oh, Thailand. Thailand. I guess I got the region right at least. <laughs> you got the continent right. <laughs> so today, the snacks we got are from Thailand. We have not been to Thailand as well, but we love Thai food, so I think we're going to enjoy this one. Which one do you want to try first? Let's try the seaweed. So I've got the Tao K Noi. Mm. This is grilled seaweed roll. Is this going to be like similar to just the normal seaweed stuff? This kind of smells weird. What flavor? It's seaweed flavored. <laughs> oh, it's actually like a roll. Okay, it's classic flavor. Classic flavored. Hopefully, this tastes like seaweed. I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste like seaweed. You wanna do the honors? I just wanna try a bit. It's got a different texture to the normal one. It's a lot crispier. Mm, it's pretty Same good. Same taste though. It's like a really sweet seaweed flavor. I like this better than the normal seaweed. Mm -hmm. We have the texture. I it's think, crunchy. I think this is umami. <laughs> it's got the nice saltiness, the nice sweetness, and then you've got that other flavor in there that you can't describe. So the next one we're trying is a mirror tamarind candy. I don't think I've ever tried tamarind candy to be honest. I have. I know they have some in the Philippines. That's it. Oh no. So it's a mirror. So it's a sweet and sour fruit used widely in the Thai cuisine and especially delicious in this candy form. It's like Werther's. I was expecting a different type of candy. In the Philippines, I think it's like a chewy lolly, right? Yeah, and it's like sticky and it's got With sugar. sugar. Yeah. <laughs> no, it does taste like tamarind. I'm trying to not think of tamarind dishes, like Filipino sinigang, but it's sour. It That's is. all I can taste. It's not as sour. I can though. taste tamarind. Yeah, I think I like this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to tap out. Okay. You want your turn to choose. Yeah, hey, my turn. Okay, we'll change the palette to something better. I think I'm going to go for the corne. It looks like cones. Can I smell Give it? it a whiff. Oh, it smells like gum. Like this Filipino chip. I think I got the Doritos version of this <laughs> in the pantry. The weird cone shape. So there you go. That's the weird cone shape. It's my Santa hat. <laughs> it's there not you Christmas go. yet. There you go. Mm. Good I like this one. If you guys know what Chex tastes like, it kind of tastes like that, but salty. It's I got, like the texture of it. Yeah, it's got the same texture. It's got the same grooves in there. Okay, so trivia time. Are you ready? I'm ready. In Thailand, it is against the law to leave the house without A. Brushing your teeth. B. Wearing underwear. C. Eating breakfast. D. Wearing shoes. Part of Thailand law. It is against the law to leave the house without Wearing shoes. Lock it in. Number one is B, wearing underwear. <laughs> so yeah, when we do go to Thailand, you just have to remember, we can't leave the house without wearing undies, right? Just <laughs> remind me that. So I'm choosing the safe one, which is Mogu Mogu. So this one is lychee juice. Oh, that's so cute. Like... Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> smells sweet. Ooh, it's not cold. It's not cold. Pinkies up. <laughs> it tastes good, but it's not cold. Oh man, look at it. High in carb and high in sugars. No yeah. wonder it tastes good. It's pretty good. It's, pretty it's good. really sweet and like it. tastes like lychee, obviously. But yeah, it's better when it's chilled. Yeah, so it's got those lychee pieces in there whenever you take a sip. It's like jelly. Trivia time. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. So what percentage of the Thai population is Buddhist? A, 25%, B, 50%, C, 80%, or D, 95%. I think it's either 80 or 95. I'm guessing 95% are Buddhist. D for 95%. And you are correct. 95% of the Thai population are Buddhist. Thank you. Okay. 
moving on now we've got the the euro cake going it's um, made out of pandan which is quite famous in thai cuisine and, and kind filipinos of, as well i think i've wrecked it can i smell it oh it's like a, a semicircle it kind of smells like it's got coconut in there oh nice spongy doesn't flavor. even taste like it oh wait the it's middle there. it's got like <laughs> this gooey pandan right in the center it just tastes like coconut to me though it's pretty good it I doesn't like taste it. like what i thought pandan would taste like trivia time in thailand it is forbidden to touch anyone on a the elbow b the head c the neck or d the belly button um i think the belly button yeah i think it is three is b what? the head the head yeah, you can't touch people's heads in thailand Interesting. Interesting. Oh, jinx. jinx. You're it. Okay, moving on. It's your moving turn. Moving on. Lay's hot chili squid. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Oh, it smells like squid. Mm. <laughs> gonna try a small piece. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the smallest piece. Just looks like any other crinkle cut chips. Yeah. It tastes like the Filipino Oishi prawn crackers. Or yeah, it tastes chips. like Oishi. Just a different texture. Yeah, it's in the crinkle cut form. Get your brain cells ready because it's trivia time. What is Thailand's national sport? A. Bowling. B. Koi fishing. C. Muay Thai. D. Bubble soccer. Muay Thai? And you are correct again. <laughs> okay, so moving on. We've got this little mangosteen jelly. This is actually your favorite fruit. I like it. I don't really like mangosteen, so... Have you tried it? I have. I it's just so like good. it. It's so good. So... Oh, there we go. There you go. <laughs> it's still there close. There we go. Oh, wait, no, it's no, not. No, 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 I got it. It just looks like normal white jelly. I don't really like jelly, so I don't know how this is going to go. Couldn't we get any? <laughs> I'm going to grab a spoon. Why does it taste like lychee? I don't know what lychee tastes like. Pinkies up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so we've got a spoon now, finally. Yeah, it tastes good. It's just the texture's weird for me because I don't like the jelly taste. Mm, I like it. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, it tastes, it tastes good. like any regular jelly to me, but it's got the, <laughs> the mangosteen, the mangosteen flavor. flavor. Yeah. Trivia time. In Thailand, you are not allowed to cut your hair on A, Mondays, B, Wednesdays, C, Saturdays, D, Sundays. I'm going to say Monday. And you are wrong. So it's B. Can't get haircuts on Wednesday. <sighs> Fun fact, Thailand is made up of approximately 1,430 islands. Did Actually, you know that? I think I kind of did because I remember oh. when, when I went there. Okay, rude. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the Thai alphabet has 32 vowels and 42 consonants. Whoa, 32 vowels? Not Whoa. just A, E, I, O, U. There's Whoa. more. Whoa. Did you know that Bangkok's real name is the longest name of a place in the world? Which is Krong I can't look, look. Yeah. Okay, anyway, right. so we've got 150 ml of cold water. So we're just gonna mix this three in one Thai tea mix. Mmm, smells sweet. It's like icing sugar. Yeah. Gotta mix it now. Mmm, it tastes really sweet. It says here normally it's with star anise, crushed tamarind, cardamom. But I can't taste it, it's just sweet. It just tastes like sweet orange. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> it's just sweet to me. I think what I'm tasting is the tamarind. So it kind of tastes like tamarind and milk tea combined to me. But it, I think, yeah, for me, it's it's all right. Did you know Bangkok used to be referred to as Venice of the East because it used to be filled with canals. Most of the canals were filled in and became the streets you see today. Interesting. Yeah, so I've never been to Thailand and I've never tried any of the... Actually, I lied. I've tried the mogu. I've been to Thailand, but I haven't tried any of these snacks before. Even the mogu? Even the mogu, no. So what was your favorite one? I think my favorite one was the first yeah. one, the big roll. I agree. Because I, like I was it. pretty keen for Japanese snacks, that's why I'm craving for Japanese. No, but snacks. I like the texture of it. It's crunchy. I think that's my favorite as well. And the lace one, this one. These are my two favorites. Yeah, so that about wraps up the Thailand treat crate for today. Yeah, pretty much looking forward to the next treat crate next month. But yeah, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. See you guys next time. Bye. See ya.